So today we'll look at the uh, in uh, sorry logarithm, which is on page 41. All right. So under logarithms, there are some rules that you have to follow, same as index. Okay. But what is logarithm? Actually, it's a function. Uh, yang mana ada dekat calculator, you cari log, kan? Yeah. Okay. So, bila you tekan log, like for example, you have log 2. So, you dapat nilai lah. Ha, ni maksudnya log, log 2, maksudnya log base 10. So, yang ini kita panggil dia base. Alright? Hmm. Right. So, same goes to kata kalau you try log 10. So, you dapat 1. Ni, you dapat point point and so on, kan? So, log tu, bila kita masukkan uh, nilai, dia uh, masukkan log berapa, dia akan dapat satu nilai. Alright. So, then, and it has some rules lah. Right? Following the log. Okay, the first one, we have the addition. Kalau ada dua log, okay, kita ada dua log. Dan kita tambah dekat tengah, alright? So, dia akan jadi satu log. Yang tambah tadi, the x dengan y ni, okay, this x and y will become multiplication. Dia akan jadi darab. Ha, so, macam tu. So, ada dua log, daripada dua log jadi satu log. So, log x, y, darab. Okay, what if we have uh, subtraction, tolak? Okay, bila kita guna tolak, okay, log ada dua. So, sekarang jadi satu. So, bila tolak dekat tengah, so, dia akan jadi bahagi, alright? So, apakah yang bahagi? Yang depan dahulu. The first one, divide the second one. X, divide y. Something like this. Okay, so kalau tambah jadi darab, kalau tolak jadi bahagi. Alright, what if you have a number in front of log? Ada nombor di hadapan log, like for example this n. So this n will go to the x as the power. So dia akan jadi log x to the power of n. Alright, so log x to the power of n. What if you tolak, ada banyak term. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay, so firstly, right, from 1, 2, 3, from 3 logs become 1 log only. Right, so first one, they have the x divide y. Kenapa divide? Sebab dia tolak dekat sini. So x divide y here, alright. And then, tolak lagi. Sini, so means divide z. Okay, something like this. Alright. So, what if you have log AA? So, you will have 1. For example, if you have log 10, 10. So, you get 1. Log 2, 2. You get 1. Log 3, 3. You get 1. Log P, P. So, still you get 1. Alright? So, lagi base sama dengan nombor belakang log itu. So, sama lah. Dia dapat 1. Alright? What if you have the log A, 1? Okay? Any any base? So, but number is 1. So, you get 0. Like, for example, you have the log. Like, say you have the log. 10, 1, you get 0. Tak percaya, tekan kat kereta. Lock 1, you dapat 0. You have the lock base 2, but the number is 1. You still you get 0. You have lock base 3, you get the number 1, you get 0. Alright? Okay. So, here are some rules for index. Let's now see the log expression at page 41. Alright, but before we go to the question, so let's have some tips on solving this. Firstly, kita kena rearrange. So, ingat, yang pertama kita rearrange. Rearrange maksud susun balik. Kalau kita ada banyak log dan kalau kita ada tolak dekat tengah, tambah dekat depan ni susun. Biar tambah dulu, biar tolak duduk belakang. Ha, itu maksud rearrange. Kita nak tambah dahulu, baru tolak. Alright, the second one, kalau dia nombor, if it is a number without log, maksudnya you kena tambah log dengan dia. Okay, ha, tak apa kita tengok sekejap lagi contoh. Yang ketiga, kalau ada nombor di hadapan log, in front log, then we have to raise up as power. Macam uh, rules tadi, rules kata, Kalau you ada nombor di hadapan log, you have to raise power to the x, something like this. Alright, next one from many log and become one log. So, ada empat tips ini that you have to follow. Okay, let's, so let's try the first question. Okay, so, so now we'll check. Adakah tambah dahulu baru tolak? Yes, tambah dulu baru tolak. Okay, settle, tak ada masalah yang itu. Now, we have, um, ada nombor tanpa log? Tak ada. Alright, adakah nombor di hadapan log? Tak ada juga. So, now from many log, we can combine to become one log. Okay, so firstly, we have, dah ada tiga log, so akan jadi one log only. Okay, now we put the whole thing in bracket. Okay, so the first one, 4 tambah log 2. So, kalau tambah, dia jadi darab. So, 4 darab 2. Okay, the next one is that they have the bahagi, sorry, tolak 8. So, bila tolak 8, dia akan jadi bahagi 8. Something like this. Okay, uh, from tambah, dia jadi darab. So, kalau dia tolak, dia jadi bahagi 8. Nombor belakang tu lah kan. Log dah keluar kat sini. Okay, so now, we try to simplify the number inside the bracket. So, log, okay, you have log. 8, 8 bahagi 8, so you dapat 1. So now, you know, log anything base berapa pun, kalau log 1, so you dapat 0. Anything base berapa pun tak kisahkan. So log 1, still you get 0. Right, let's try number 2. Firstly, we have to check, adakah tambah dahulu? Yes, tambah, baru tolak, baru tolak. Okay, saya tak ada masalah dekat situ. The next one, ada tak nombor tanpa log? Tak ada. Alright, semua ada log. Yang ketiga, ada nombor di hadapan log? Yes, this is the number di front of log. We have to raise as the power of x. Okay, so we'll have this as log x to the power of 3, okay, plus log 3 minus log x minus log 4, okay, alright. So now, we can combine, okay, so from many log, we want to make it as one log, okay, one log only, satu log sahaja, and then start opening your bracket, alright. So now, we combine, so firstly, kita ada x to the power of 3, so we'll have x to the power of 3, tambah jadi darab, 3 darab 3, Tolak jadi bahagi X. Okay, bahagi X. What about this tolak? So, that tolak akan jadi bahagi 4. Okay, the right, the, the number 4. Okay, now we have to simplify the number inside the bracket. So, we have log outside here. Okay, so now we can simplify this. X with X above 3, so become X to the power of 2. So, you have 3X to the power of 2 divided by 4. Actually, this is, can be written as log 3X to the power of 2 over 4. Something like this. Okay. 
done. All right, let's try number three. Okay, the first step. Uh, check. Is it tambah dulu baru tolak? Yes, tambah baru tolak. Tak ada masalah, tak perlu susun. Yang kedua, ada tak nombor di hadapan, uh, nombor tanpa lock? N yes, this is the problem. Ada nombor tanpa lock. Lock base berapa? Kalau lock base berapa, kalau tak tulis base maksudnya base 10. So, apa yang kita perlu buat ialah we have to add this one ni. Kita ubah jadi lock base 10. So, lock y plus 1 plus lock 2 minus, okay, 1 need to be changed to lock 10. Kenapa? Lock base 10, 10 ialah 1. Okay, kita tak tulis base 10. Right, so lock 10 means 1. Tak percaya, tekan calculator. Lock 10, 1. Alright, so now we can combine lock. Okay, ada 3 lock, so nak jadikan 1 lock. Alright, so now we'll become 1 lock. So now, you have to write the first step is y plus 1. So y plus 1, please put in bracket. Tambah jadi darab, then the number is 2. Alright, so tolak jadi bahagi and then the number is 10. So bahagi 10. So, you have something like this. So, it's actually, you can simplify 2 dengan 10. So, 2 dengan 10 jadi 5. So, you will have this as log y plus 1 over 5. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, that one is number 3. Okay, let's see number 4. First, you kita tengok base. Base berapa? Base 2. Because of, because of what? Because of this. Base 2. Okay. Now, you have tambah dulu baru tolak. Okay, tak ada masalah. But the problem is the number here. 3. Okay, so what we need to do is that we'll have to change that 3 to log. Okay, so this one can be written as log base 2 x plus 1 plus log base 2 x minus 1 minus 3. Okay, put 3 first, right? But log base berapa? Base 2. So, it will become log base 2, 2. Kenapa? Log base 2, 2 ialah 1. So, 3 dah 1, 3. So, still get the same thing. Alright, so you can write log base 2, 2. Meaning that you have, you just put this log base 2, 2 dekat belakang 3. Ah, something like that. Alright, so now, what's the problem? The problem is ada nombor di hadapan log, which is number 3. Bawa ke atas, 2. Ah, so, something like you have log base 2, x plus, sorry, x plus 1 plus log base 2, x minus 1. Okay, so now you ada log base 2, 2 kuasa 3. Okay, now, Settle. 2 kasi 3, simplify jadi 8. 2 x plus 1 plus log base 2 x minus 1 minus log base 2 8. Sebab 2 kuasa 3 ialah 8. Now we want to combine log. How many log? 1, 2, 3. So it become 1 log. So we'll have log base 2. Ingat kalau base 2, base 2 lah ya. Yeah. Then starting putting your bracket. Okay. Alright. So now what we have. The first one is x plus 1. So, x plus 1. So, the next one, tambah. Tambah jadi darab. So, x minus 1. So, you put x minus 1. Tolak jadi bahagi. This, the number is 8. 8. Something like this. And then you have to simplify that actually. Alright. So, you will have to simplify. Actually, x plus 1, x minus 1 can be written as log base 2. Okay. You put it in the bracket. x plus 1, x minus 1 will become x square minus 1 over 8. Alright, tak percaya, you expand lah. X, X plus 1, X minus 1, become X square minus 1. Alright, so we are done with this one. Alright, what about number 5? Alright, we'll have number 5 here. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is that the tak disusun. Dia tolak dulu, baru tambah. So, please put that tambah dahulu. Okay, so we we'll need to rearrange this. Susun semula. So, 3 log 3X tambah log 3, 2 Tolak. Okay, kata kalau nak tolak log 3Y dulu boleh. Log 3Y square. Tolak 1 duduk belakang. Okay, tolak 1 duduk belakang. Ha, something like this. So now, what's the problem? 1. 1 tak ada log. This one tak ada log. Log base berapa? Tengok base berapa soalan? Base 3. Semua base 3. Alright. So now, we have to change to 1 tu ialah. Alright. 3 log 3X plus log 3 log 2. Tolak log 3Y square. Okay, tolak. Actually, tolak 1 but we put log base berapa? Log base 3. Log base 3, 3. Sebab apa? Kalau log base 3, 3 ialah 1. So, 1 dah 1, 1. So, 1. So, you don't have to do anything. So, just put log base 3, 3 dekat belakang sekali. Okay? Is that okay? Alright. So, now. Ada nombor di hadapan log? Yes, ada nombor. So, 3 akan naik di atas X ini. Ada lagi? 1. Sama jugalah. Akan naik atas ni. Ha, something like this. Tapi, 1 sebenarnya tak perlu tulis. Okay? You just need to write log 3, 3. Sebab 3 kuasa 1, 3. Okay. So, now you will have log base 3. Okay. X cube plus log base 3, 2. Okay, tolak log base 3, Y square. Tolak log 3, 3 kuasa 1. You don't write 3 to power of 1. Now, we start combining the log. So, from 4 logs akan jadi 1 log sahaja. And then, start putting your bracket. So, write the first one which is X to the power of 3. Darab. Kenapa darab? Sebab tambah sini. So, darab 2. Tolak jadi bahagi Y square. Tolak lagi jadi bahagi. So, the number is 3. Something like this. Okay. 
and then we'll have to simplify this one okay so that one will be log okay inside the bracket you have 2 x kuasa 3 per y square bahagi tukar okay actually this is 3 over 1 so tukar kepada darab for this one so this one will become multiply okay kalau bahagi pecahan kan so you part 1 over 3 so now darab di atas yang atas bawah dengan yang bawah so log you'll have yang ni darab yang ini so 2 x to the power of 3 dekat bawah 3 y square Okay, you're done with this one, right? Tak boleh simplify dah. Alright. So, let's have a look at number 6. Alright. You have this one. But, so the problem, ada tolak dulu baru tambah. Sebab apa ni? ni? Tolak dahulu baru tambah. Susun balik. So, susun balik. So, you'll have log x square plus 3. Okay. Plus log 2. Tolak 2. Okay. But, the problem is 2. Apa masalah kita? Kita tak nak 2 kan? Kita nak nombor belakang dia. So, we'll put log base berapa ni? Log base 10. Sebab apa? Sebab tak tulis base. So, base 10 lah. So, log 10. Sebab apa? Log 10 ialah 1. Okay. So, now you have this. Okay. Uh, ada tak nombor di hadapan log? Yes, ada. Nombor di hadapan log ini. So, you have to bring up to the power of 10. Alright. So, we can log x square plus 3 plus log 2 minus log 10 square. Aha, uh -huh. you have something like this. Alright, now you'll have to simplify from many logs. So, we come one log only. So, log. Alright. So, first step. X square plus 3. Why? Because of this one. Plus, jadi, darab 2. Multiply by 2. Bahagi kenapa? Sebab tolak sini. Tolak 10 kuasa 2 which is 100. Tekan calculator lah. 100. So, now you can uh, simplify. 2 dengan 100. So, it will become 50. So, you will have log. Okay x square plus 3 over 50. Okay, something like this. Okay, alright, this is number 6. Alright, let's have a look at number 7. Alright, number 7. What if you have like this? Okay, log base berapa? Base 10. Okay, uh, ada masalah uh, susun number? Memang dia tolak-tolak, so tak boleh buat apa. But the problem is the number ni. 1 ialah log 10. Kenapa? Base 10. So, you have to change to 1 kepada log base 10. So, half log 49 minus 2 log 7 minus log 10. Okay, uh, you tukar 1 jadi log 10. Nah, gini. Alright, so next, ada number di hadapan log. So, number akan naik ke atas dia. Alright, 2 akan naik ke atas 7. Ha. So, you'll have something like log 49 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, minus log 7 to the power of 2 minus log 10. Okay, alright. So, now, boleh tekan calculator 49 to the power of 1 over 2. Tekan calculator, you akan dapat, hati-hati uh, tekan calculator 49. Uh, power and then put bracket 1 over 2 eh? so you get log 7 actually minus log 7 square which is 49 minus log 10 alright so now we wanna, we wanna combine from many logs to become one log so start putting the log in front and then putting the bracket so firstly write the number 7 tolak jadi bahagi 49 you write 49 tolak lagi jadi bahagi and then you have 10 ok so actually the one in the bracket you can press your calculator ok so, ataupun you can simplify this one, 1, 7, alright. So, you'll have actually log 1 over 7, multiply. This is 10 over 1, so, terbalikkan dia jadi 1 over 10. So, your answer will be log 1 over 17, something like this. Okay, alright, done. Alright, the next one is that we have this one, alright, last one. So, again, uh, base berapa base? 2, kena hati-hati. So, tengok soalan, uh, tak susun. So, firstly, we susun dulu. Eh? Alright. So, 2, log base 2, 3. Tolak, uh, sorry, tambah dahulu, tambah 2. Tolak 1 per 2, log 2, 27. So, what's the problem? The problem is this, 2. Tak ada log, so we have to put log. Log base berapa? Log base 2. So, you have to put base 2. So, log base 2, 3 dahulu. Tambah 2 is in front there. Then, put log base berapa? Base 2, 2. Kenapa log base 2, 2 ialah 1. 2 dah 1, 2 lah. Kembali kepada asal. So, now, ada yang belakang. Minus half log base 2, 27. Okay. So, now... Uh, what's the problem? Ada nombor di hadapan log. So, you have to bring this as the power. So, the number 2 akan naik power. Half akan naik power. Uh, something like this. So, now we'll have log base 2, 3 to the power of 2 plus log base 2, 2 to the power of 2 minus log base 2, 27 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay? Don't. Uh, okay? Ambil nombor saja. Jangan ambil power uh, negative. Eh? Okay. So, now tekan calculator. So, you have log base 2, 3 kuasa 2, 9. Tambah log base 2, 2 kuasa 2, 4. Tolak log base 2, 27 kuasa 1 per 2. Sebenarnya, you akan dapat... Mm -hmm. Ada tak? 27 kuasa 1 per 2. Tak ada kan? Alright? So, biar dia sebagai uh, 27 kuasa 1 per 2. Actually, 1 per 3 ke 1 per 2 tau? Okay? Okay, sorry. 1 per 3. Soalan dia 1 per 3 ya. 
Ah, satu per tiga. Okay, kuasa satu per tiga. Okay, so now you have 27 to the power 1 over 3 Tekan calculator, you dapat uh, 3 sebenarnya Okay, so now uh, we want from many logs to become 1 log So log base 2, put it in 1 bracket So firstly we'll have 9 Tambah jadi darab, number 9 sila 4 Tolak jadi bahagi, 3 duduk bawah So now tutup bracket, simplify the number So 1, 3, so 3 multiplied by 4 You get log base 2, 12 So you are done with this one, okay